My name is Samir Shiban with the Environmental Health and Safety in Oregon. This video is about silane effluent treatment. Silane is a commonly used gas in the clean room process. It's normally stored on a gas pad delivered through a control panel to a process in the clean room. In this process, some of the silane is used. Most of it is discharged through a vacuum pump into a kind of a treatment plant and then discharged to the environment through a scrubber or exhaust system. On the gas pad, silane also is discharged in the process of evacuating the cylinders. In 1991, D1A project in Oregon was in the process of being designed. A system called the Sargent was being considered for treatment of silane throughout the plant. This system uses many utilities for support, including um, high flows of nitrogen and air, and including natural gas or hydrogen for burning the fuel. The concept of this system is incineration of silane for treatment. One of the obvious disadvantages of this system is the high cost, which is apparent due to the installation of the piping and the support utilities and simply for the cost of the installation of the system. Portland Technology Development and Environmental Health and Safety, PTD and EHS, in Oregon cooperated to develop a design for developing a new system based on the concept of forced air mixing of silane for treatment. The heart of this design is the chamber itself, pyrophoric neutralization chamber, PNC. It is equipped with a glass front for the experiment purposes in order to view and observe the behavior of silane in this process. Before we see some of the actual footage of the experiments where silane reacted in the chamber, I would like to go through the range of flows and the rates of the various gases that we use in this process. Silane flow started at 50 cubic centimeters per minute at 30 pounds per square inch to 28,000 cubic centimeters per minute at 650 pounds per square inch. This upper range, of course, is the uh, highest that can be expected from a silane cylinder with an orifice. Nitrogen flow, which is used for back diffusion, ranged from 10 liters per minute at 30 PSI to 20 liters per minute at 40 PSI for most of the experiment. We air flow was at 100 cubic feet per minute to 350 cubic feet per minute through a variable flow fan. Nitrogen trifluoride was 173 cubic centimeters per minute to 2,000 cubic centimeters per minute at 30 psi. Nitrous oxide, 50 cubic centimeters per minute to 9,200 cubic centimeters per minute at 30 psi. Both of these are strong oxidizers. The reason we selected those is because of the potential of uh, violent reactions between strong oxidizers and silane within the chamber. The uh, range of ambient conditions, and we've conducted these experiments outdoors, was 31 degrees Fahrenheit to 98 degrees Fahrenheit and the winds were from calm to 11 knots. The duration of the experiment was November 91 to September 92. So we experienced, as you can see from the temperature, various weather conditions. Now this will make smoke. Ooh, yeah, now we have smoke. Have 
I want to cool it down and rest one more. Well, let it cool down while we eat lunch. No, I don't want to come back here. No, I don't need that. It shouldn't take that long to cool down. Take it all off. It's a little pretty good to get out of here. Air cooling, sir. Yeah, you guys, uh, this is not normal situation because it's got a fan. Some of the conclusions that we have found with this experiment is that for silane flows between 0 and 600 cubic centimeters per minute, over 90% of the silane reacted in the chamber and there was no flame, but there was reaction. Reaction was observed because of the smoke discharging from the fan. over 600 cubic centimeters per minute flame was observed and reaction was complete the discharge of the chamber contained less than three percent of the lower explosive limit of combustible and flammable gases that is certainly far below what would be a concern from a fire and explosion standpoint. The nitrogen flow that was used was used only to prevent back diffusion and is not necessarily needed for any dilution of the silane. In a space comparison of silane treatment systems, um, we have the Guardian, which comes in at about 63 cubic feet. The Sargent has about 22 cubic feet. Dilution is around 23. And the PNC is much smaller with only 4 cubic feet. The most common system for neutralizing silane is the Guardian system, and its alternative is the pyrophoric neutralization chamber. The cost for the Guardian, the total installation and capital cost, is $57,150. And the cost for the PNC is only $6,100. So the total savings for installation and capital cost is $51,050. For operating costs per year, the Guardian is about $17,600, while the PNC is only $1,200 for a yearly savings of $16,400.